beautiful Santa Monica. We are gonna go check out the 626 mini night market. Of course, there's 626 night market normally in is it Arcadia or Santa Anita, but this is like the mini version here in Santa Monica. So it'll be interesting to see how many vendors there are, if there are any games, uh, if there are any small like little shops and stuff. At least it wasn't too far away from where we live. Pork belly fries, but we're all gonna share. $20. Darren said the pork belly fries are good, which we have yet to try. 20 bucks. The eel. So we have the blue crab on a purple rice, and then what is this one? The nagi eel. Almost forgot to show the purple rice. It's a little bit sweeter than the regular rice. Everything was delicious. but the best way to eat it is by cutting it because it's so huge. Jonathan asked for the salt and pepper seasoning. I think that's what we got last time too, right? Yeah. Check out how crispy that is. Super crispy. Mm -hmm. So Darren ended up getting something from Pizza Bell. We had a pizza, pepperoni pizza, and then this one's a this one's a pepperoni steam. So Ooh. this one's steamed, this one's steamed, and this one's fried. Pepperoni. Pepperoni pizza no, bowl. This one's margarita. It is from Ube Nabon. So this is their card. And they even gifted uh, a little coupon code for 10% off your online order. So we did get it to go and we didn't even know really what it was, but it was like very large portion. <gasps> oh my gosh, this looks good. Okay, let me just plate it. Oreo and ube or ube Oreo. It smells so good. I think it's like a, cinna a cinnamon roll. And then in this one you have uh, the Oreos. Housemade frosting, 
second frosting you put on top of it, but we're just gonna eat like a small little piece. Slice this. You guys know I'm like such a lover of ube. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, we're just gonna get a little bit of this. Dollop of the house made frosting. And then a little dollop of this other frosting. It smells like fudge. Here is our food and let's give this a try. We were gonna eat it there, but we were basically all tapped out. We were so full. This is good. It's like um, a little bit like a cinnamon roll, but ube flavored. Let's try the other little slice with the fudge or chocolate topping. You know what, it's not fudge. I think that's also ube. I think it is. Mmm. Did not realize that there is also an Oreo at the very bottom of the box. So it does come with a Oreo cookie to put on top. Overall, we did have a really fun time at 626 Mini Night Market. It was a lot smaller, of course, than the other 626 Night Markets or other night markets in general. Did have a good variety of vendors. They also had some small little vendor shops where you could purchase items. Not nearly as much as at the other 626 night markets. Uh, but overall, you know, this was a lot closer for us. Admission was free, but you do need to purchase advanced tickets. I'll make sure to link 626 Night Market down below in case you're interested because I do know that the one at, uh, I believe it's the Santa Anita. I know that one will be running, I believe it's Mother's Day weekend. Highly, highly recommend checking out 626 Night Market. Also really recommend sharing your food because they do have large portions and that's the thing about these food events is that you want to kind of, you know, try the food, little of this, little of that, but if you just, one person just buys like this whole thing and eats it, most likely you're just gonna get all filled up. You wanna try as many different food vendors as you can, and uh, we did try a pretty good amount today. Also really curious if you guys are planning to attend any of the 626 night markets. So we hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. If you did, please make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you have not already. Would love for you to be part of the Chicky crew. Thank you Chicky so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy and we will see you in the next vlog.